I don't uh, definitely don't subscribe to that whole like do what you love and you never work a day in your life kind of thing because I definitely work harder than I ever did when I did things I didn't love. So. <laughs> my mom was a kindergarten teacher and my dad was in the military. Um, they were very confused when I decided to go to art school. A lot of my art career kind of stuff has just been kind of accidental like one step leads to the next and then all of a sudden you're doing this. So. Yeah, if I was in a hurry all the time, I would be in the worst possible job. Um, because almost nothing I do is quick. I, you know, I really do spend a large portion of my day watching paint dry. I mean, it's just, it's what I do. Started painting signs just to kind of decorate the shop kind of thing and really enjoyed it. And then it kind of turned into a couple jobs which turned into more jobs and I've been doing it ever since. I'll lose an entire day and all of a sudden be like, oh my god, I have to go home and pick up my kid. Be like, I've always, always wanted to learn how to do this stuff, but I waited quite a while um, to really tackle it because it uh, shows imperfection. I think like the, the thing that's happened is that like craft has a very different meaning to different people. Anybody can make you a sign that looks kind of okay. It doesn't mean you can put it outside for more than like three weeks before it falls apart. A lot of the stuff is like you have to be really patient, you have to take your time because otherwise it's just not going to turn out and then you end up spending a lot more time trying to fix everything that you messed up. When I, I first started working, working for Hardywood they called me and uh, they wanted some signs made for the Unby Lane location. You know when we when we started it like I was looking at a lot of old beer like old, you know, beer ephemera and everything, and seeing all of the crazy cool, like, cans and bottles, and Hardywood came back and was like, we found these, you know, old style bottles, and, you know, I think it's gonna be the perfect last step, and the, all in all, it, like, I think it's just like the coolest looking bottle out there. 